Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how to move elements around in this little events bar. Um, that, so this is on uh, one of the pages on this site. And what I've done is I've created this events list as actually uh, just individual images and blocks of text. We used to have it in a list format, which was problematic because these images were getting cropped weirdly and we didn't have control over them. So I've moved it into where this is an individual text block and this is an individual picture. Um, this means that I can actually adjust this list and resize this image. Um, as you can see, I'm clicking on this little stretch handle here. Um, this actually moves everything in sync below it um, as I increase it. So if you need to increase the size of an image, you can do it this way. Um, if it's cropping oddly. You can also use this little settings tab to reset the image proportions here. Um, sometimes this works better than others. It seems to have problems sometimes with uh, the pings, but you can see it's kind of getting cropped weird. I can resize it and to, to where it looks good and it's cropped nicely. Um, this little crop tool and things also you can use, but I think it's sometimes easier just to visually do this this way. Um, and then you can just simply edit this text the way you want. This is paragraph one style here, and this one is a heading five style. So if you paste or tech, type in new text and it changes the formatting, just highlight it and then choose paragraph one for that um, style or for the bolded header style, use heading five. Um, so that's very simple to do. Now let's say you wanna add a new event. Um, there's an easy way to do this where what I would do is I would copy these things I've already created. So shift select to select multiple. So I'm clicking on one, then I'm holding down my shift button and I'm clicking on another. And now you see I have all three elements selected. I'm going to copy this using just command C and then paste command V, um, depending on if you're a PC or Mac, um, but just use your copy and paste. You can also go under file to get those. Um, now you can see I have this new thing, but this box isn't the right size. It's not tall enough. So that's where that little stretch handle comes in again. So I want to click on this background box and then you'll see the stretch handle. If I pull that, it'll make that box bigger. And now I have enough room to add in this new event that I'm putting in here. Um, the reason I say to use this rather than the, these resize that these ones don't resize anything below it. So it can sometimes mess things up below it. If you use this to kind of make it taller and shorter, everything moves accordingly and it, it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, then you can just simply start typing in your new information. You can change your image to any other image that you have and go from there. Um, now let's say you want to delete an image, you can just, or delete an event, you click on these. Let's delete this out. I'm going to delete out this line and I got to move this back up. So I'm going to pull that stretch handle back up to make this box smaller once again. Now another thing that you want to look at whenever you're messing around with elements or adding elements to the page, you want to go into the mobile view. So the mobile is up here under mobile. Click on that, then click on the radio button to say edit mobile view. Now you're gonna be on the mobile part of this page and you can kind of look through and see how everything looks. Now I've already optimized these, but when they come in, typically they are uh, not centered or whatever. So you can use these uh, plus or minus symbols to increase or decrease the size in mobile only. You can also hide things here and you can use the settings tab to um, set a specific size or to center or left align or right align the text. Um, if you're not getting the little sub menu that pops up here, sometimes that happens. Publish your work, save it, close out of the editor and say yes I want to leave and then click on edit site again to relaunch the editor window. Sometimes I find that Wix the menus don't always show up as expected and you have little problems. So here I am, I have kind of a fresh editor loaded. I saved my work before I close it, so that was important. Now I can go back in here and look at these things and hopefully this little settings tab will work. Oh, what do you know, it did. <laughs> so one of the little weird bugs about Wix, if you ever have problems where things don't seem to be expanding or you're not seeing menus that you normally see, close out of your window, reopen the editor, and that usually will fix the problem.
Um, so just to quickly show you, they all these came in like this. So what I did is I just simply centered it using those kind of little visual guides to help me. Um, and then if I click on this and click on settings, I can choose the alignment of center to make that look a little nicer. Um, you can also use this little stretch handle to kind of get rid of maybe some extra space, kind of fi fix this all up, make it look as good as possible for your users on phones. Um, and you can also, again, use things, use this to hide things on phones if you want to simplify the homepage because or any of the pages on your website because sometimes it's just too much information and too long of a page on a phone and you want to just simplify it. Um, so that's about it. I just wanted to kind of go through this. You would also go to your other pages and edit things the same way. Let's go into the edit mode and I can navigate um, to one of my other pages. I'm going to go back to the events page. And here, this is where I can start adding and, and duplicating these blocks of text um, and adding new things or switching these out and changing images and swapping them out with different events. Um, if you have any questions, of course, reach out to me. Um, and happy Wixing. It's lots of fun and it's actually quite easy. Just don't forget to look at that mobile view to make sure your mobile page looks good too. And also, don't forget to publish Every time you publish, it does save a saved version of your site. So if you need to go back in time, you can actually go to this little site history tab, which will walk you back through every published version of your site. Um, so if you spend a day working on it and you break something, you can go back in time using the site history if needed.